so excited and grateful to have each of you here today. And so is Opal. <laughs> My name is Christina. Um, I go by the Rainbow Veil here on YouTube. I'm a psychic medium and Reiki master teacher working out of the Virginia area. So tonight's session um, is going to have almost like a water slash air element to it. Um, I've got quite a bit of tools uh, that are geared towards like our ocean and the ocean and water element. So I wanted to bring that energy in for our session. There's just so much <laughs> kind of collectively bubbling up with Mercury retrograde getting ready to start. I think we're still in the middle of it's either Saturn or Pluto retrograde. There's like eight planets <laughs> in retrograde right now. So stuff has felt a little tense, a little anxious, a little um, on edge is the best way that I can describe it. So um, let's focus today on calling that ocean energy in um, to release anything of a lower vibration, anything that might be keeping us feeling disempowered in some way. All right, so let's get started. Have here some of our sacred spray. So this is eucalyptus and sage. Got it from the sacred TJ Maxx. <laughs> We're going to have a couple of sprays slash water that we're going to be using in today's session. But let's start by connecting with your aura and let's set the intention that anything unsupportive or of a lower vibration is going to start to bubble up to the surface to be released. All right. Behind you. you okay I hope the air doesn't bother you it's still a little warm here in Virginia okay <clears throat> so I have here this little vial of this is yellow jasper or no I take that back this is yellow jade um, I got this from our little local metaphysical shop and I was gonna bring these little guys out until I heard the really beautiful sound that they make I want to get started using this first and we're going to graduate up to our hummingbird rattle. So yellow jade is excellent for mental clarity, it's excellent for the solar plexus chakra, connecting with our self-esteem and our personal place of power. Um, so let's start now by rattling away anything of a lower vibration that does not belong in our energy, um, but specifically focusing on empowering our solar plexus, empowering our throat, our mind. Let's start there.
also feel called to go behind your head. We have a chakra, it's one of the higher chakras, but it's called the zeal chakra. It sits on this like at the base of our skull, kind of where our neck meets with our skull. Feel called to go there too. Team's going to come through almost like with a little net, and gather up anything that's unsupportive, that's disempowering our energy, bring that back up to spirit to be alchemized again, made into something beautiful.
little shell. I have two of these. Look at this little cutie. It has like this really beautiful, I hope y'all can see it, but it's like this opalescent inside. Like how beautiful this used to be like a home <laughs> for a little critter. Two of these. So what we're going to do, we're going to very gently connect with certain areas of your aura and just very gently cut those cords. We're specifically looking for anything that drains life force energy from you. So let's begin to scan just a little bit still like around the crown like right up around the hairline so just a little bit down the first part of the center column of your aura so going to bring in some of our sensitive heart spray. For those of you all who are curious, this has, you can definitely tell I'm going to need some readers here soon. <laughs> uh, we've got rose quartz and peridot, uh, rose geranium, and then lavender and grapefruit. I cannot believe I'm going to need some readers. <laughs> all right, let's connect now. Now that we have rattled out a lot of that unsupportive energy, um, now what I'd like to do is start raising the frequency of your vibration. So I'm going to spray this all around. Behind you. This is an ocean jasper palm stone. It's really beautiful. Look at that big dot. But these are basically pieces of jasper that have come from the ocean that have been, you know, moles around in uh, the surf, in the current for prolonged periods of time um, and form these really beautiful formations. I don't know all the science behind it, but <laughs> I love ocean jasper because this is the stone of like chill. This is the, I've had a really hard day and I just want quiet, uh, like stone. If you've ever left like a really chaotic day at work and you just want to ride home in silence, this is the car of silence. <laughs> at least for me it is. 
And so what I want to do is I'm just going to tap this all through your aura, just like I'm doing now. We're sending that really beautiful, chill, quiet energy to you. Sending that energy into the crown. Good. Okay, so now we've got these little cuties. They make the prettiest noise. energy around the crown so I thought it might be really nice to bring out these gentle little cuties to cut those cords of anxiety so much, much better. All right, so I have a piece. <clears throat> so this is fossilized coral. Um, and it was ethically harvest, harvested, I should say. Um, but I wanted to bring this out. I think it's so beautiful that this has like literally been a little home for little teeny little cuties <laughs> within the, you know, the ocean and the sea. But I thought it might be nice to bring this out. Gosh only knows how old this is. Um, but for hundreds of thousands of years, this was a reliable, comforting, sacred space to these little cuties that called it home. And I wanted to bring that same energy out and push that into your aura, knowing that no matter what, you can create a safe space for yourself, a refuge, just tapping that energy into your crown. Home is where you and your family are.
chill pill spray. Now that we've cleared our aura, we've cut cords, let's continue to raise our vibration by using our chill pill spray. This has got, if you're curious, citrus, as well as lavender, patchouli, and peppermint. I have here, so this is allegedly <laughs> clear quartz uh, that's been aura treated. Um, Amy, if you're watching this, I've got a friend, Amy, who's also one of my clients, um, and she mentioned a stone, it began with a G, I believe, um, that she thought this might actually have some dealings with, because it's got some selenite properties. Amy, if you wouldn't mind, sound off in the comments what the name of that stone is again. If you're watching, that is. <laughs> uh, but I brought this alleged <laughs> clear quartz out. I love that it's aura treated, but it seems to be a really good activating crystal. So we're going to once again connect with your third eye as well as your crown and solar plexus to merge the energies of these areas together so that those psychic senses are always connecting and communicating with one another. So just starting off at the crown some sacred Reiki symbols into this space. That will help continue to raise your vibration in the coming days. Same thing into the third eye. Sending in Joko Bay. Reiki symbol Saihiki. Daikomaya. Just enhancing those frequencies, filtering them into the third eye. solar plexus, just above the belly button. We're going to infuse the Reiki symbols into this space. That will continue to help raise the vibration of your solar plexus and chakras as a whole. Amy, the name of that is on the tip of my tongue. It's like Gerasol. Gerasol. G. G something. <laughs> Sparkle. 
lovely energy starting to merge. Cast your aura in those beautiful colors. Behind you. enjoyed our session today. I send you so, so much love and appreciation whenever and wherever you are in our world right now.